Welcome back to DXB Today, where we are talking about all the different things that you can do in the city while the weather is so nice. And to help us talk about that, we please welcome Cedric Batiste, the Managing Director of the Original Fit Factory. Thank you so much for joining us, Cedric. Thank you for having me. Now, there's so much family fun stuff to do in the UAE, and we're very, very excited for the Bubble Run. What can you tell us about it? What is it, someone that hasn't heard of it? So the Bubble Run is a family-friendly event. Uh, that's going to take place on 20th of January, so tomorrow, starting at 4 p.m. at Expo City Dubai. It's a family fun run. We call it an experiential race. We're going to have a lot of bubble stations all around the course, and it's a nice way to engage with the community, to get the kids active, to make sure that the kids they stay away from their tablet and their mobile phone, and to do something fun as a parent also with the little ones. We were just talking about the, you know, something different you can do in Dubai besides just the restaurants and beach clubs scene, which I personally love, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. <laughs> so when you, when you say bubble run, what do you mean by bubble run? What is bubble? So basically we will have a giant foam cannon that's going to spread bubble uh, all around the, the participants. So we're going to have a great uh, race village with plenty of, uh, think about the old school uh, foam party. So it's gonna, it's gonna look like that. And along the course, we're gonna create, or we have created trusses with giant cannon that's gonna spread bubble uh, across all the participants. How long is the run? So we've got uh, two races this year. We've got the eight kilometers and the four kilometers. Wow, eight kilometers in bubbles the whole time. Exactly, so you okay. can, it's gonna be two loop uh, at Expo City Dubai and you can come with your keys, you can take the pram if you want, you can walk, you can dance, you can <laughs> run obviously if you want. So it's very inclusive. But I'm just a little curious because obviously last year was the year of sustainability. Now you're going to have bubbles all over the place. How safe is this exactly? This is a good question and especially being at Expo City Dubai where the COP was there a couple of weeks ago. So Bubble Run is a clean run. So we've been using our product all around the world in Hawaii, in Los Angeles, in places where sustainability is very, very important. And obviously this is part of the DNA of the company. We care about the world, we care about the environment and all our products are biodegradable. Now, I only asked this, Cedric, because I know people are going to wonder it. It sounds like a slippery affair. Is it, <laughs> is it a slippery type of bubble run? Not at all. It's not the type of bubble that you use it uh, to, to shower. But mm -hmm. I can give you some sample and you can try it <laughs> and, and you let me know. Why bubbles? Say again? Why bubbles? It's just uh, going back to uh, childhood memories, you know. We all used to play with bubbles. Even now we've got this little, little toy that you can use it for bubbles. It's just fun and, and you will be surprised to see not just the kids playing with the bubbles, but also the, the adult. So the bubbles, we use it, I mean, there is plenty of races all around the world, the traditional running event, and we decided to really uh, stimulate uh, the, uh, the child uh, in all of us and to create some experiential uh, activity so that it's ju not just about running, we can be sometimes a bit boring for people, but we decided to add some, some, some flavor, and for us, the flavors are the bubbles. Mm -hmm. And how can people participate in this? Is this free? Where can they register? What is the age limit? So the race will take place tomorrow, starting at 4 p.m. Now is the last opportunity to register. You can go to bubblerun.com, use the code BR20, and that's gonna give you 20% discount on our event. So it's time to register now until midnight. Amazing, and we absolutely, it sounds amazing, it sounds fun for the whole family. It's at Expo City. Was there a reason you chose Expo City? Exactly, I think Expo City, it's an iconic place. It's a place which is very dear to, to the highnesses and, and for us, which is what is very important, is to follow the, the vision of, uh, of the highnesses to make Dubai one of the most active cities in the world. And we believe that uh, Expo uh, City Dubai is the perfect place uh, to do that. Well, Cedric, this sounds like really exciting. I think, I think I'm going to register tonight and use that 20% discount so that the whole family can enjoy. Thank you for joining us on the My show. My pleasure. Thank you. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. All the best with the event tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Now, Ash, I know we've got something happening with Millie. What's going on? Right, Millie, you've been patiently sitting with us throughout the show, and you are no stranger to our DXB in 60 quiz. Are you ready? You know I basically only come here for the quiz. <laughs> Absolutely, and you always ace the quiz. Okay, so are you ready for this one? No pressure. So your time starts now. Three, two, one, let's go. If you weren't in the magazine industry, where would you be working? F and B. Mm. Your motto in life and work? Work hard, play harder. Your first job? At Grazia magazine, where I now work, so I've come full circle. Your hidden gem in Dubai? It's got to be eat and drink cafeteria. <laughs> Old school. If you yeah. could choose one superpower, what would it be? To fly. Your inspiration? I'm, I'm inspired by everything every day. It changes all the time. A book you're reading at the moment? 
I just read It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Top series you've watched recently? The Last of Us. Top uh, podcast recommendation? I'm just listening to The Diary of the CEO. It's really good. Most used app on your phone? Oh, it's got to be WhatsApp. We do everything <laughs> on WhatsApp. If you could hang with someone for 24 hours, who would it be? It would be anyone from the cast of Friends. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so we're going to squeeze in one last question. You did really well, I must say. This is the last question. Why Dubai? I don't know why you why you wouldn't Dubai. <laughs> what does this place not have, really? Why would you leave and where would you go? Exactly. Absolutely. I feel the same way. Well, Millie, it's always a pleasure having you on. Thank you so much for joining Thanks, us on XB today. And Cedric, we will see you tomorrow Thank at you so the much. Bubble Run. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much. All right, for now, we are going to have our amazing musician, Nikki Mookie, who's coming up on the end of the show. But first, here's Shahir having a little interview over at The Fridge. Check it out. Yes, guys, we are currently at The Fridge in Al Sirkal, and I am joined by none other than Nikki Mookie. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Of course, pleasure is all mine. So you're a pretty big deal here in Dubai, but we want to know about your origin stories. How did you get into music? Oh, man. that's Well, firstly, that's very kind. Thank you so much. Um, I got into music because my mom grew up in, in the States when she was very young and got into rock music. So when we were growing up, we didn't have nursery rhymes. She was like, I'm not having this. You guys are having ACDC, you're having Skid Row. And my brother started playing. I have three older brothers who all play music. They started playing and, you know, little bro, I wanted to get involved. So they got me a little guitar and started teaching me how to play, you know, heavy metal at the beginning. And, and then from there, it just kind of evolved. That's a pretty intense start. And does that explain the guitar as well? Because you have a pretty cool looking guitar. So what's the story behind that? All oh, right, yeah, I'm, I'm playing a National Guitars guitar today. It's a resonator. It was originally used a lot for um, stuff like, you know, early blues. It's made of steel. Um, but the guitar, the way I play it tends to be more like Hindustani classical. I, I've sort of fell in love with that music over the years. And today we're playing a bit more jazzy with it, but it's really cool. It has a wonderful sound. So you went from complete metal to now jazz. How would you describe your style? Um, it's it's very much between it's it's world music so between flamenco and indian classical music <clears throat> and pick up lots of things in between and just creating yourself and like branding yourself as an artist it takes time it takes knowing yourself as an artist how do you differentiate from the masses and if you want to stand out what is the key you know i it's just about <clears throat> musically, just exploring and finding what is your sound, what is uniquely yours. That, that's all. And how would you best describe that? You know, I, maybe I'm not the best person to do that. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, it's just, it's just world music. Trial and error. Yeah. And if people want to find you, see you perform or get in touch with you, how can they do that? Best through socials, you know, at Nikki Mookie. It's N-I-K-I-M-U-K-H-I-I -I -I on Instagram. So well, thank you so much, Nikki. We're excited to see you perform. Over to you guys at the studio. That's a new face on DXB today. Our brand new roving reporter, Shahir, you did fantastic. Thanks so much. Just going to take a little break and we'll be back on DXB today.